My name is Barbara Caldemone. I was born on July 14, 1950 in Providence, Rhode Island. I went to college in 1968 at the age of 18, primarily because it was expected of me. Neither my mother nor father had graduated from college, so it was expected of me that I would go, and I uh, went on to a four-year Catholic women's college in Boston. Um, and I don't think that was unusual at that time. I really didn't have any friends who left high school and went off to work. I think I liked the idea of going away. It was exciting to be uh, out of the house. And even though I was only an hour away, we didn't have cell phones. We didn't have access to cars that we were going to be driving back and forth all the time. Going to college then was definitely a move away from your family. When I got to college, I really had no idea what I wanted to pursue. I thought about being a math major. I thought about being a French major. I had a next door neighbor who told me that she was a sociology major, and I thought, gee, that sounded interesting. So I became a sociology major. And I studied hard. I had to. Uh, it didn't come easy to me. But I did find time to have fun, too. My friends and I would frequent campus dances at other local colleges and meet people at those dances. We, had, we all had friends who went to other colleges in the Boston area as well, so we would meet friends' friends and um, dating did happen between people who you met through friends and people who you met at these dances or occasionally at bars when we were old enough to have fake IDs. I guess that the people who I thought were cool were the girls who really had it together. They had nice clothes or jewelry or possibly a car or they went on Caribbean vacations or whatever. So I guess those are the people who I always thought were cool. They may or may not have been, but <laughs> that was my impression as an 18 year old. I guess the music that I equate with college years most often are, are singers like Judy Collins and Carol King. We listened to the radio a lot. We did have records, but I think the radio was probably the main thing to do. We enjoyed also just hanging around the dorms. Uh, Vietnam War was a big deal while I was in college. There are so many colleges in Boston that there was a real feeling of activism at the time. One of my fondest memories was of a peace march on Boston Commons where there were thousands and thousands of people there again, because it was such a college town, I would guess that the majority of the population who was at that peace march was probably uh, 20 years old. My husband and I went to elementary school together. Uh, I remember him from the second grade. I think he remembers me from before that, but I know we were in the fifth and sixth grade together, and at that time our little group of friends would have parties and we'd play spin the bottle in post office. Um, for high school, I went to public school. He went to an all-boys Catholic school. And at that point, I had a boyfriend. He had a girlfriend. After high school, we were both in different cities for college. However, he decided that he wanted to get in touch with me, he contacted my mother, called me when I was home over a school vacation. And we talked quite a while on the phone for a couple of nights and ended up having a date. Uh, at the end of the week, and the rest is history. By senior year of college, I was almost through with my course requirements. So second semester senior year, I actually lived at home and had a full-time job uh, and did one correspondence course in order to complete my degree. Most of my friends stayed on campus, continued to go to classes and do the things that young ladies in college do. By the time I graduated, we were already planning a wedding for the next summer. I did have a number of friends who were married that summer, immediately following graduation. That was not unusual. Uh, graduating from college and with getting married within the next two or three years was probably the norm at that point. Uh, we're talking 1972. Expectations were different. 
My parents sent me to college to get an education, but I think they already that they, they always assumed that I was just going to get married and have a family. Uh, I wanted to work in business, and so I did work, actually for 11 years after I graduated from college before I had a family. So I do feel that I had some career for myself, but it wasn't a huge goal of mine while I was in college to have a serious career. When we did um, social activities after college, it was my husband and I, and our friends already married, and we would get together and entertain each other with the little money that we had, and some of our friends at that point already started to have children. At that point, I really don't have any recollection of what the economic situation in the world was. Most of my friends had gotten some kind of entry-level positions and were making enough money to feed themselves and house themselves. After graduation, um, we pretty much settled into a routine. My husband was a medical student, and I worked full time, basically to support us. And it was tough, but interestingly, I never felt like we were starving. We were careful with our money. If we did get together with friends, it was low key and a good time without spending a lot of money. Occasional movie or you know, supper out, um, and, and it was fun. I think I knew that eventually we would have a family. We were, neither of us were in any, in any rush between his training and our lack of resources and just not being in a rush to, to be burdened with children at that time in our lives. Um, and I don't regret that at all. I think that the time that we, when we did have our children was a good time for us. So we were pretty footloose and fancy free and could enjoy ourselves at a time when a lot of our friends actually had children and were feeling kind of tied down. I guess when I graduated from college, I would always say that I was not going to get married until I was 28 and I was going to have a career. And that changed because I got married when I was 23 instead. I never begrudged the fact that I wasn't a high powered executive or something. I, I think I did what I liked. At this point, I'm 58 years old. I have been married for many years, have two wonderful children, and I'm happy. Uh, I have a part-time job, which I like very much, and I have two children who are succeeding and seem to be very happy in their lives. What more could a mother want?